love painting peeps and welcome it's Kathleen from Cos Creations welcome to the no bra zone number two guys I am happy you're here I am happy I'm here this is probably going to be my last painting here in Asheville for a while two more sleeps guys two more sleeps before the fluid art experience for me until i head down a couple of days before y'all to get everything ready and uh, our room set up and our gift baskets done and uh, i get to hang out with my friends sweet mina Vallegas, darling sarah mack wonderful karen durson from waterfall and acrylics and my boyfriends, Lee and Jeremy from Massey Art Studios. Um, so excited about this event in Plano, Texas, November 12th and November 13th. I'm really excited about the dinner on Friday the 12th to walk around and chat with a lot of my peeps and answer any questions that they might have. So if you haven't already go to the website guys check it out www.fluidartexperience.com and if you have any questions there's a place there where you can email sweetly who's always on hand to answer any questions you might have so i'm excited guys i can't tell you how excited and grateful that i am Speaking of Lee and darling Jeremy, I am about to do a pour I've never done before. It's called a ribbon pour. I watched Lee do one a couple of nights ago and I thought to myself, you know what? That's pretty darn cool. Maybe I can fiddle with it a little bit, maybe swipe some sections of it because all those beautiful colors are going to be laid out in these ribbons and what's more perfect than uh, swiping apart because i'm a swiping kind of girl so i don't know what size this canvas is i think it's a um, 18 by 24 where is my measuring tape i don't know guys i'm a little discombobulated i've been busy getting married getting ready not married shipping things off to texas so we have everything on hand oh a quick shout out a lovely painting peep sent me a whole box of these wonderful containers and i had mentioned it before in a video the day that i got them but I never aired the video. It's kind of just hanging out there in the archives. And um, thank you. They're absolutely wonderful. They are just little containers with these little plastic lids, a nice little spout there to pour from. And you can't see, but it has um, lines here for measuring and ounces, ounces. So I'm very grateful for these. I got about seven or eight of, of them and I'm going to use them. And um, grateful guys, whenever you um, send out wonderful comments and overwhelmed when you send me little gifts. And it uh, warms my heart, makes this girl smile big. Let's talk about our paints today. Yummy, yummy colors for this ribbon pour. This guy's beyond beautiful. Absolutely beyond beautiful. One of my favorite paints from the beginning of this girl's pouring journey two years ago. That is Dazzling Metallics by Deco Art. And that is their Peacock Pearl. Now Deco Art as well as Golden Paints are two of our sponsors for the convention. And we're going to be using some of their paints, guys. This is a Peacock Pearl, and I added a couple of squirts of the Golden Fluid Turquoise to it. Just to kick it up a notch, and it makes one of my most favorite colors in the whole wide world. Let's take a closer look at that. Isn't that glorious, guys? <laughs> I know I say that all the time. That right there, that's just the Peacock Pearl all by itself. Next to it right here is a nice combination of colors as golden fluids in the green hue. 
and golden fluids in the teal. Now these paints have a little bit more, they're a little bit more opaque. So I think that would add some nice contrast to some of the more transparent paints that we have down here. You can generally get that information on the side of your bottles. This right here is the last of those darn little baby art alchemy paints. And this is the emerald green. Hear me, art alchemy. You need to make bigger bottles of paint. Those don't last me very long. But this has kind of got a beautiful color shift hue to it. It's got the blues and the greens and the teals in it, so I'm real excited about that as well. Right here we have a little bit of satin enamel, and that is mixed with the Amsterdam Titanium Buff. Now while I have this out, our base coat or flood coat, if we need it, is the Amsterdam Titanium Buff. This color, oh my goodness, I mixed it the other day, ended up not using it, and I said to myself, we got to use this. This is beautiful. This is Modern Masters. It's also an opaque paint, but it's also a metallic paint, and that is their black cherry. These Modern Masters paints are absolutely lovely, guys. Let's take, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I'm a little froggy this morning. There we go, that's better. Look at that black cherry. It's a beautiful, mauve chocolatey kind of color. And I love my blues and my browns together. Speaking of browns, right there, Modern Masters in the satin finish. And that is their English brown. So I'm really super excited. It's my first ribbon pour, guys. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go ahead and get my cup ready. We have our flood coat if we need it, and we might swipe a section or two of this just to kick it up a notch. Lee, thank you so much from Massey Art Studios for the inspiration, guys. Can't wait to see you in Plano, Texas. It's gonna be a paint party, guys. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy.
been acting like a wild man I'm sleeping like a child You're so luminous and vibrant I'm always in I'm stranded A castaway And I'm now sure Of no stranger in this content I'm always in Just so